I think the three major announcements that came out of Chalmerche COP27 meeting was the creation of the African Carbon Market Initiative, which I, I think it would open the opportunity to bring resources, buy the carbon credits, but at the same time, allow communities to have a sustainable way of living by income that will be derived from the effective conservation of nature. The second thing was also that more countries joined the High Ambition Coalition for Nature on the 30 by 30 perspective, which means to have 30% of the territories declared protected areas before 2030. And the fact that this is coming at such a strength before the COP15 in biodiversity that is taking place in Montreal some weeks from now, I think was also a very important milestone. The third one is that the movement of world uh, environmental philanthropy resources are really getting to, to be more approachable by a larger amount of countries. The next big things that have to happen is to accelerate the energy transition, which I think now there's a strong commitment and that requires uh, smarter regulation, bringing with, through incentives more participants, but that energy transition is a must. The second thing is we have to promote uh, the green taxonomy. So we have all the glossary of environmental policies that country by country are being uh, are adopting. And the third element that I also can see as, foresee as something that is that is needed today is that we need to put the sense of nature positive as important as carbon neutrality. And that means having at least 30% of the countries with territory that is declared a protected territory that is part of this conservation campaign that is needed in the course of the next eight years.